Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome to Jalen's YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna explain the detail of Japanese nuances and why Japanese is so hard to learn. Let's get started. If you are learning Japanese, you may have understanding about how grammar is structured and what kind of uh, like words, nouns, uh, verbs are often used by Japanese. But I think uh, if, even if you remember all the like nouns, verbs, uh, common like grammar structures, you there are still a lot more you have to learn. And then I think uh, that's the reasons why Japanese uh, possibly is the most difficult language to, to learn. So Japanese often use uh, hidden like meanings and just changing the one word inside in the sentence it will completely change uh, the entire meanings. And then today I'm gonna pick up one example uh, so that you can learn you can understand what I'm uh, trying to mean and hopefully the video will be helpful. Uh, let's get started. Cool. So I'm gonna pick up uh, just one example uh, so that you can understand uh, what's, what, what I'm trying to mean uh, by saying a Japanese nuance. So here are two sentences. One is uh, sushi ga i. The other is uh, sushi de i. If you uh, started learning Japanese and if you understand, if you have understanding about what like sushi means, e means, uh, you can probably roughly uh, are able to understand the meaning of the sentence. But however, the meaning of these two sentences are completely different. So sushi ga e means it kind of like uh, that person really want to have sushi and then that's the desire of that person have so sushi ga e is like uh, sushi is the best choice and then on the other hand if you say uh, sushi de e you're kind of uh, willing to go to sushi restaurant uh, i don't mind to go to sushi restaurant though uh, i'm not feeling uh, like to have sushi right now right and this is the difficult point of Japanese uh, you are just changing one word but it's changing com the meaning completely and sometimes uh, people take it uh, as uh, rude right if your important person is asking you but, uh, about whether you want to go to sushi restaurants or not or the important person uh, for you is trying to like cook the sushi in the home and if you say sushi de i uh, you are not like appreciating uh, the offers uh, the person is trying to give you so you, you should definitely say yeah I'd like to have sushi sushi ga i yeah sushi ga i on the other hand if you really don't want to have a sushi and then you don't mind to yeah, I'll tell the truth to that person. Uh, you can say, uh, sushi de i. And then, in case you don't want to reject their uh, like offer, sushi de i. So, that's the difference between sushi ga i and sushi de i. Right? And that's uh, the reason why I'm trying to say uh, Japanese is a little bit difficult to understand uh, the hidden meaning. Sushi ga i. Sushi de i. Please repeat after me. Sushi ga i or sushi de i. These are the completely different sentence. One is uh, sushi is the best choice. The other is uh, it's okay to go to sushi restaurant though you don't want to have sushi uh, to be honest. Cool. cool, so that's it for today. I hope the video was helpful. If you liked the video, uh, please like it and also i'm gonna upload more lessons on this channel so please uh, sub don't forget to subscribe this channel uh thank you so much for listening uh today's lesson and see you again soon